thoughts do. And I guess we're going to go with Bill. Bill, Bill Tarvey. Yes, I sure. Bill, you're <laughs> 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 Say nice things now, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty nice to see all the grandkids and all they can do with their little machines and that. So I had to write my stuff down. <laughs> and uh, my memory's not as good as it used to be. One time I thought I had a photographic memory to remember all this. Yeah. yeah. And then I suddenly realized I ran out of film. <laughs> so anyway, this great congratulations to Wayne and Yvonne. They got a famous illustrious birthday. And June and I hope you have many more. And it's nice to see all your grandkids and your family here. And we've known uh, Wayne and Yvonne since 1945-ish. Yeah. And that's 60 years plus. Yeah. Oh. It's hard to understand how fast it's gone past. Now you'll have to recognize that Wayne and I met at university and we were in the same lab group. Yeah. Of course I found out that he had a romantic interest in Elm Creek. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally, Yvonne found herself volunteered to type our final interview. <laughs> <laughs> The pay was a promise of an unknown quantity, delayed to a future time when us graduate hope to be more prosperous. Actually, the typing may have been the best part of our report. <laughs> After all the hard work of studying calculus, trigonometry, and using those Andrew slide rules, <laughs> What's that? computers, they're actually computers by the way, yeah. analog computers, and uh, we were looking forward to the Grand's farewell party yeah. at the Alexander Hotel in, That's right. in downtown Winnipeg. Yeah. And this hotel was uh, kind of back in the early days, had some strict social rules, which made it somewhat challenging to reserve a room so we could celebrate with our girlfriends, too many more. So we had to come up with a non-engineering formula to overcome that problem. And this meant that Wayne suddenly became a bona fide resident of the town of Dauphin, Manitoba. And with his empty suitcase, he came up to the <coughs> check-in at the hotel and checked in and said, I'm from, no, I'm from, sorry, I'm from out of town in Dauphin, so I want this room. And he signed in, no problem. Problem was solved. So we both obtained jobs with Saskatchewan Power in Regina. We got married and started some families. And so some of us, some of you people were born there, I guess, in Regina. Anybody born in Regina? Yeah. 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 And the salaries we were uh, put up with, I guess, were a phenomenal 200 bucks a month. Start with 180, and then we got, <laughs> right. we got 180, and we got a, a raise just a, just a couple months later. Yeah. yeah. Well, I seem to remember they offered me 220, and then I got a telegram it was going to be only 200. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe they checked my background or something. <laughs> anyway, we left the 30 dry prairies and followed the old saying about moving on to greener grass in the wet climate in Victoria. And we were working for the BC Power Commission. Most of you probably never heard of them. <laughs> anyway, Wayne and Yvonne arrived first. June and I went out there in January 1956. The difference between the cold snowy prairies and the balmy green lawns wasn't very hard to take. We lived next door on Oriole Street. We enhanced our families and carried on enjoying the West Coast lifestyle. Then in 1962, June and I were moved to Vancouver when old wacky Bennett amalgamated the Power Commission with BC Electric. And even though there is now the Strait of Juan de Fuqua between us, we have remained great friends over all the years since then. So now, June and I wish you, Wayne and Yvonne, all the best for many more birthdays and celebrations.
thank you so much. Very good, Bill. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, this is a long time. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to actually start, unless anyone, anyone else would like to share anything? Otherwise not, then what we'll do is we'll serve uh, dessert and coffee for everybody. Yeah. Okay.